Hello everyone. In our last lecture, we discussed about the female reproductive system. In that, we discussed the external genitalia parts associated with this external genitalia of female reproductive system. In today's lecture, we are going to start with the next part in female reproductive system that is internal genitalia parts of internal genitalia in female reproductive system before to start the lecture let us discuss the remaining part which we left in our last lecture in external genitalia the breast cancer so what is the breast cancer what are the symptoms of breast cancer how that breast cancer is detected or diagnosed what is the treatment on the breast cancer that we are going to study first then we are going to start with our major point in this lecture that is the internal genitalia in female reproductive system so the breast cancer it is associated with the breast in female reproductive system that is the external genitalia what are the symptoms of breast cancer the first symptom which is a well known symptom in breast cancer that is the formation of lump in breast or under arm so the lump like structure it appears in breast or in under arm so it is the first symptom of breast cancer and that lump which form it is painless there is no paining in relation with that lump again next symptom is swelling of all or parts of breast swelling occurs in breast then skin irritation breast or nipple pain nipple retraction redness callousness thickening of nipple or breast breast skin and discharge etc these are the various symptoms of breast cancer how this breast cancer is diagnosed or detected this breast cancer it is detected by mammogram that is x ray then by ultrasound then mri biopsy and blood test it is used to detect the breast cancer so let us come towards the treatment of this breast cancer this breast cancer it is treated by radiation therapy chemotherapy lumpto lumpectomy and mammoplasty these are the various ways to treat the breast cancer so it is about the breast cancer symptoms their detection method and the treatment of breast cancer let us move towards the one of small point that is the mechanism of weaning what is weaning when the mother milk that mother's milk it is replaced gradually by the solid food then this process it is called as the weaning process when the mother's milk to that baby it is replaced by the solid food this process it is called the weaning process which gradually takes place when the developmental stages of that baby goes on that milk mother's milk it is replaced by the solid food so short answer question may be asked on this point that is the what are the symptoms of breast cancer how it is diagnosed and what is the treatment in breast cancer and definition may be asked define weaning what is weaning like so it is all about the remaining part in the external genitalia in female reproductive system let us move towards our major part this 
today's discussion or today's lecture that is the internal genitalia internal structure of female reproductive system this diagram clearly shows the human female reproductive system with the various structures associated with the internal genitalia that we are going to discuss in detail in our next slides so broadly internal genitalia in female reproductive system it is having the pair of ovaries fallopian tubes uterus and vagina these are the four major parts in internal genitalia of female reproductive system that we are going to study in a detail in our next slide so let us move towards the first part in internal genitalia that is the pair of ovaries this is the diagram where the ovaries are shown apnara ithe pointer disto hi ek ovary ahe hi ek ovary ahe so it is the pair structure it is the right ovary it is the left ovary so ovary it is the primary sex organ in female फिमेल मध्य जस मेल मध्य टेस्टिस तसा फीमेल मध्य हा प्राइमरी सेक्स ऑर्गन है कि प्राइमरी गोनेड बोलते ओवरी मध्य तैयार होता ओवम तैयार होता कि एक तैयार होता हा प्रत्येक ओवरी मतुन राइट ओवरी अल लेफ्ट ओवरी अल एट दी टाइम ऑफ मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकल इन फिमेल एट ईच मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकल देर इज रिलीज ऑफ वन एक और ओवम फ्रॉम दी ओवरी मे एक मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकल मधुन जर लेफ्ट ओवरी मधुन जर ओवम कि एक रिलीज दुसर मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकल मधुन हा राइट ओवरी मधुन एक वेस पॉसिबिलिटी फार कमी दोन एक रिलीज होने की ओवरी मधुन रेर केसेस मध्य दोनों ओवरी मधुन ओवम कि एक रिलीज हो शकतो एका मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकल मधुन एक ओवरी मधुन एक एक ओवम जो है तो रिलीज होता दुसरी ओवरी जी है ती को ही काम करते तो वट इज दोजिशन ऑफ ओवरी दोजिशन ऑफ ओवरी इज इट इज अटैच अपर लैटरल पार्ट ऑफ द पेलविस नियर टू दी किडनी एंड इट इज लोकेटेड एट दी लोअर पार्ट ऑफ दी एपडोम द नेचर ऑफ ओवरी इज इट इज सॉलिड स्ट्रक्चर इट इज ओवल आलमंड शेप्ड बॉडीज सॉलिड इन नेचर ओवल इन शेप एंड आलमंड शेप्ड बॉडीज तो देन वॉट आर दी डायमेंशन ऑफ दीज ओवरी द डायमेंशन ऑफ ओवरी इज इट इज अबाउट थ्री सेंटीमीटर इन लेंथ 1.5 cm in width and 1 cm in thickness it is about the dimensions in the ovary about its length width and thickness then let us come to know the connections of the ovary it is in relation with the mesovarium What is mesovarium? Mesovarium, it is the structure where that ovary suspended from the dorsal body wall by fold of peritoneum. It is called as the mesovarium. So, what is mesovarium? It is the fold of peritoneum where the ovary suspended from its dorsal body wall. and this mesovarium it is also called as the broad ligament and this broad ligament it is having the two types of the ligament that is the ovarian ligament and suspensory ligament which connects that ovary with remaining part in the internal genitalia so what is the role of ovarian ligament that ovarian ligament connects the ovary with the uterus that is the part in internal genitalia that we are going to study in a detail in our next slides so 
ovarian ligament connects the ovary with the uterus and suspensory ligament connects the ovary with the lateral body wall let us move towards the importance of ovary what is the importance of ovary as we know that ovary it is the primary sex organ in the female reproductive system it plays a significant role in the production of ova or egg which is releases at the time of each menstrual cycle then again the ovary it has significant role as it develops the female sex hormones in female the secondary sexual characters are maintained with the help of the different types of the hormones and these hormones are the ovary it produces the female sex hormones like the estrogen one of the most important female reproductive hormone estrogen progesterone relaxin activin and the inhibin these are the various types of the hormones which plays significant role in the control of menstrual cycle and secondary sexual characters then pregnancy and the mechanism of parturition in female reproductive system so it is all about the ovaries so let us move towards the next part in the internal genitalia that is the fallopian tubes or it is also called as the oviduct or it is also called as the uterine tube so this tube like structure it is connected with the ovary ala ithe apnala ha fallopian tube cha bhag disto ani ha fallopian tube cha bhag ya teen parts pasun banlela hai to apan in detail madhe pahnar aahot pratyek part cha role pahnar aahot ithe ovary ahe samjha hi left ovary ahe ani ya left ovary jawal ha fallopian tube cha bhag ahe ani tasach hi राईट ओव्हरी आहे आणि या राईट ओव्हरी शेजारी हा देखील फॅलोपियन ट्यूबचा किंवा ओव्हिडकचा किंवा युटेराईन ट्यूबचा भाग आहे आता हा ट्यूब लाईक स्ट्रक्चर आहे किंवा डक लाईक स्ट्रक्चर आहे सो इट ट्रान्सफर्स हा काय करणार आहे ट्रान्सफर करणार आहे काय ट्रान्सफर करणार आहे तर या सगळ्यात महत्वाचं म्हणजे या ओव्हरी मध्ये तयार होणारा जो ओव्हा आहे त्याला आपण ओव्हम बोलतो किंवा एक बोलतो हा त्या ठिकाणी काय केला जाईल ह्या फॅलोपियन ट्यूबने घेतला जाईल my fallopian tube picks that release the ova or egg from the ovary and it further sends to the next part to kute send karto to apnala pudhya part madhe pahayla tya vela apan tyacha detail ghevuya what is fallopian tube where it is present the position of fallopian tube is it is present lying horizontally over the peritoneal cavity which is close to the ovary the fallopian tube it is about 10 to 20 cm long structure narrow structure muscular structure lined by ciliated epithelium then the structure associated with this fallopian tube is mesosalping so what is mesosalpings mesosalpings it is the double fold of peritoneum which supports the ovary so that mesosalpings it is the double fold of peritoneum which supports the structure that is called as the ovary and the function of a fallopian tube broadly it helps to transport the ovum after the ovulation from ovary to uterus manje ithe ovary madhe ovum tayar hoil menstrual cycle madhe ovulation madun to fallopian tube madhe il ani fallopian tube madun युटेरस मध्ये येईल युटेरस आपल्याला सेपरेट स्टडी करायचं आहे युटेरस काय आहे युटेरस मध्ये काय केलं जातं त्याचे पार्ट कोणते आहेत हे आपल्याला पुढच्या भागामध्ये इन डिटेल मध्ये पाहायचं आहे म्हणजे फॅलोपियन ट्यूब काय करेल इट पिक्स दि ओव्ह फ्रॉम ओव्हरी अँड इट सेंड्स दॅट ओव्ह इन टू दि युटेरस हा भाग जो दिसतो सगळा आपला जो आहे युटेरस so let us move towards the parts of a fallopian tube apanala ithe maithe hai pa ithe infundibulum ahe ithe ampulla ahe ani ithe isthamas disto tela cornea dekhil bolta ya pratyek part cha structure apanala in detail madhe pudcha slide madhe 
pahaycha hai let us move towards the parts of fallopian tube so fallopian tube it is divided into three parts that is number 1 infundibulum number second ampulla and number third that is the isthmus infundibulum ampulla and isthmus these are the parts of fallopian tube let us discuss one by one number 1 infundibulum so infundibulum it is close to the ovary it is having the structure it is called as the fimbri it happen pau shakto ba what is fimbri the infundibulum it bears the free dilated proximal end it is the funnel like structure which bears the number of finger like processes it is called as the fimbri infundibulum bears the finger like process it is called as the fimbri at the center of this fimbri there is presence of opening ithe fimbri cha madhe center laga asta middle la there is presence of opening it is called as the ostium what is ostium at the middle of fimbri long and straight part of the oviduct which bears the central opening it is called as the fimbri and what is the importance of fimbri that is ostium that ostium it receives the released egg or ovum from the ovary kya hota ba ovary madhe ovum tayar kela jato तो कौन घेना है फैलोपियन ट्यूब घेना है फैलोपियन ट्यूब मध्य को इनफंडिबुलम घेना है इनफंडिबुलम ऐसी प्रॉक्सिमल एंड फेम्बरी है फेम्बरी चो सेंटर लिंग का है ऑस्टिम है सो दैट एक इट टेक्स बाय दी ऑस्टिम ऑफ फेम्बरी देन इन टू दी इनफंडिबुलम देन इट स्टेन्स दैट ओवम और एक टूवर्ड दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट इन दी फैलोपियन ट्यूब दैट इज दी एम्प्यूला आता हा एम्प्यूला फार इम्पॉर्टन्स है का इम्पॉर्टन्स है बिकॉज दैट एम्प्यूला इट इज द साइट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन इतने का होता एक्चुअल फर्टिलाइजेशन के जो अपना पॉइंटर दसतो इतने फर्टिलाइजेशन के जो मेल कड़ून जो मेल कड़ून वजैनल ओपनिंग मधुन जो यारा स्पर्म है हा पॉइंटर अपन पहू शको इतना स्पर्म एंटर करना है हे स्पर्म जे हैं आत मधे का स्वीम करना है स्वीम के जो स्पर्म है हा स्पर्म या हा पॉइंट है जिता एम्प्यूला है तो स्पर्म क्या जो ओवरी मधुन आग है तो यहाँ एकमेक बरबर फ्यूज हो रहा है फ्यूज फर्टिलाइजेशन हो रहा है राइट एन्सर इन वन सेंटेन्सेस मध्य हा क्वेश्चन अतिशय महत्व है वॉट इज दी साइट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन वॉट इज दी प्लेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन इन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सीस्टीम कुठे फर्टिलाइजेशन होता देन द आन्सर इज एम्प्युला वेर दी फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल फर्म विथ दी फीमेल एग और ओवम एक्स प्लस देन दी लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दी फैलोपियन ट्यूब इट इज कॉर्निया और इस्तमस इट इज वेरी शॉर्ट एंड नैरो पार्ट which further opens into the uterus isthmus or cornea very short part narrow part which opens in this uterus so these are the various parts of the fallopian tube that is infundibulum ampulla isthmus or cornea short answer question may be asked on this fallopian tube also that is describe the parts of fallopian tube or the importance of fallopian tube let us move towards the next major part and the most important part of the internal genitalia in female reproductive system that is the uterus or womb the uterus or womb it is the pear shaped structure highly muscular structure thick wall and hollow organ the dimensions of uterus or womb are about 7.5 cm long structure 5 cm broad 2.5 cm in thickness location of this uterus or womb is located above and behind the urinary bladder 
and it is present in the pelvic cavity then again that uterus it is having the ligament or the connection it is called as the mesometrium or the broad ligament it attached to the body wall by double fold of peritoneum it is called as the mesometrium or the broad ligament let us move towards the parts of this uterus or the parts of uterus uterus again it is divided into three parts here it is first part it is called as the fundus then it is the cavity that is the body or corpus and this part of uterus it is called as the cervix and it is the cervical canal cervix let us discuss one by one parts of the uterus that is the fundus fundus it is the dome shaped part it is the dome shaped part present above the opening of uterine tubes that is the fallopian tube present above the uterine tubes or the fallopian tube and what is the importance of fundus fundus it is having importance in it plays significant role in the implantation of the embryo occurs in the fundus implantation of the embryo implantation of embryo means when successful fertilization in ampulla takes place then it leads to the development of zygote then zygote develops into embryo then that embryo successfully implanted in this part it is called as the fundus then let us move towards the next part of uterus that is the body or corpus the body or corpus it is the broad upper part and the importance of body or corpus is it receives the fallopian tube at the upper right and left angles and third part in the uterus or ovum is cervix here it is cervix it is the narrow cylindrical part having 2.5 cm length which further opens in this last part in the internal genitalia that is the vagina so what is the importance of cervix that cervix it has two openings at internal it towards the body and at external side it towards the vagina so internal connection of cervix it is towards the body of uterus and external connection of this cervix it is towards the vagina let us move towards the major part in this uterus again that uterus it possess the various layers there are three different layers outer to inner are perimetrium myometrium and endometrium perimetrium he bahir chi ahe myometrium he middle ahe ani endometrium je ahe ti inner layer ahe uterus chi ata ya pratyekacha properties veg vegle ahe te apnala pudcha slide madhe pahaycha let us move towards the layers of uterus it consists of three layers namely perimetrium myometrium and endometrium number 1 outer perimetrium it is the outer serous layer which is derived from peritoneum then myometrium it is the middle thick muscular layer of smooth muscles it is middle thick muscular layer of smooth muscles and role of myometrium is important as it helps at the time of contractions of muscles causes during the parturition that is the child birth at the time of parturition there is contraction in the muscles of uterus takes place and this contraction takes place with the help of this muscular layer middle layer which is made up of smooth muscles it is called as the myo metrium let us move towards the inner layer of 
uterus that is the endometrium endometrium it is the inner highly muscular mucosa made up of stratified epithelium which is filled with many uterine glands and blood vessels and the importance of endometrium is that endometrium it undergoes many cyclic changes in thickness during the menstrual cycle or it is also called as the female reproductive cycle that we are going to discuss in separate point so endometrium it is the innermost layer of the uterus which plays significant role in the menstrual cycle that it undergoes various changes so what are the functions of uterus functions of uterus number 1 it receives ovum or fallopian tubes fallopian tube madhun ovum la receive karne se kaam karte it develops placenta during pregnancy for nourishment of the fetus प्रेग्नसी मध्य प्लासेंटा डेवलप केुटेरस मध्य कि जो फर्दर फेटसला नरिशमेंट देने से काम करते एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ पार्चुरेशन इट एक्सपेल्स द यंग वन एट बर्थ एट द टाइम ऑफ डिलिवरी वेन बेबी कम्स आउट इट इज फ्रॉम दिस युटेरस सो दीज आर दी वेरियस लेयर्स ऑफ uterus then let us move towards the last structure associated with the internal genitalia in female reproductive system that is the vagina or birth canal from where the birth of that baby or release of that baby takes place vagina it is highly collapsible and highly distensible fibromuscular tube and this cervix that is the part of uterus it opens in this structure it is called as the vagina it is having 7 to 9 cm of length and it is present or it lies between the cervix and the vestibule vestibule it is the structure of external genitalia in female reproductive system that we discussed in our earlier lecture the vaginal wall it has inner mucosal lining middle muscular layer and outer adventitia layer and the opening of vagina into vestibule it is called as the vaginal orifice vaginal orifice which we are discussed in our previous lecture in external genitalia so it is all about the internal genitalia let us discuss one more structure which is the covering on this vaginal opening that is the hymen specifically that hymen it is called as the covering of vagina into the vestibule of vulva is partially covered by the fold of mucous membrane it is called as the hymen so that vaginal opening it is covered by the fold of mucous membrane which is called as the hymen so what is the importance of vagina vagina it provides the copulatory passage at receive as it receives the erected penis during the intercourse it allows the passage of menstrual cycle and it serves as a birth canal during the process of parturition so it is all about the hymen then the importance of a vagina and it is about the total internal genitalia of a female reproductive system so long answer question may be asked on this content that is describe in a detail female internal genitalia or the diagram may be asked for sketch and label the female reproductive system or internal genitalia in a female reproductive system or short questions may be asked on each part in internal genitalia let us move towards the 
next part that is uterus cancer uterus cancer it is related with the linings of uterus specifically the endometrium part of the uterus so what are the symptoms of uterus cancer symptoms are abnormal bleeding between the periods vaginal bleeding after menopause abnormal watery blood tingle discharge from the vagina and the pelvic pain so then how the uterus cancer is diagnosed it is diagnosed with the pap smear test then biopsy and ultrasound and the treatment against this uterus cancer is chemotherapy radiation therapy surgical removal of uterus it is also called as the hysterectomy so these are the ways to cure or to treat the uterus cancer let us move towards the last part in our today's lecture that is why vaginal secretions are acidic in nature he apan ya purvi dekhil discuss kelela hai ki vaginal secretion acidic astat pan ka astat ya sa reason apan ya tikani samjhun gyaycha ahe the inner cell linings of the vagina it stores the glycogen the inner cell linings of the vagina it stores the glycogen and vaginal bacteria that is the lactobacilli it ferment that glycogen इनर सेल लाइनिंग मध्य ग्लाइकोजन स्टोर के वजैनल बैक्टेरिया जो है लैक्टोपैसिल है तो क्या करते ग्लाइकोजन लर्मेंट करते फर्मेंटेशन का जो रिजल्ट है इट मेक्स दी एसिडिक म्यूकस इट मेक्स दैट एसिडिक म्यूकस एंड दैट हाईली एसिडिक म्यूकस इन दी वजैना इट प्रिवेन्ट्स दी इन्फेक्शन फ्रॉम दी फंगस therefore the vaginal secretions are acidic in nature short answer question may be asked give reason why vaginal secretions are acidic in nature asa prashna apnala vicharla jau shakto so in today's lecture we discussed about the breast cancer then internal genitalia in female reproductive system that is the pair of ovaries then fallopian tube then uterus and the vagina various parts associated with all these structures then uterus cancer and the uh, why vaginal secretions are acidic in nature in our next lecture we are going to discuss the next part that is the uh, uh, histology of ovary that is the transverse section of ovary how the development of ovary takes place how the ovarian follicles takes place that we are going to study in our next lecture thank you